Hi, this is Scott Hanselman, and I'm continuing to do my build to build uh, videos of Windows 10 technical preview. This is build 10.122.10.122. Took a big jump from build 10.0074. Uh, I'm doing the Windows Insider Fast Ring. Had a little trouble installing this particular application, and I will actually show you why. Uh, if you go up and search for Windows 10, 18% in fact on Twitter we were having trouble where we would get the installation of build 122 hanging at 18% and then what you had to do was press shift F10 run task manager and kill the setup application and then it would restore so you wouldn't lose your data but you couldn't install this build what we ended up having to do was run this command all at once on the command line and this would go and clean up your drivers apparently there was a bug when you had too many drivers installed maybe you'd plugged a whole bunch of stuff into your machine this fixes that by removing those unused drivers and that got me to this point now things are you know mostly looking the same uh, but there are a couple of things and this is again just entirely my opinion that I'm just really not feeling uh, the start menu start screen uh, in this build this particular build in my opinion is just rough I'm getting a little frustrated with it I'll give you a couple of examples and again I'm speaking specifically of build 122 so I'm saying this with all the hope and confidence that it will get fixed but I will say that if if this were the final it would not of course be good fortunately it's a preview if I want to get to all apps I click start the left side is now gone I have to click the hamburger menu that means go start then all the way back up to the top and then all the way back down to the bottom again and then hit all apps I find that annoying let's do that again start hamburger all apps that's unacceptable unacceptably long um, if I hit start where did my resizing of the start menu go that was a whole big thing now we have a start screen again I can't figure out how to change the color, uh, not the color rather, but the uh, the opacity. One other thing, if I swipe in, there's my finger there, you can see my, my fingers on the screen. If I swipe in, you can see here that this is the color of my background. If I change my background, I used to be able to right click and say next image. I had a slideshow going, but right now I don't. If I hit blue, you see how we're taking on the color of the uh, one of the ambient colors of the background that is done here if you have that off you'll end up usually with black and uh, that 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 thing that pops out there will end up black I don't like that I like automatically pick an accent color that way your colors uh, change a little bit um, one other thing in this build more and more and more stuff going into the modern control panel this is good uh, basically, this is the new control panel. It's, the, it's it's not the classic control panel anymore. Virtually anything you want to do is in here, although you can still find yourself occasionally jumping into a classic environment, like, for example, here, the network and sharing center. Additionally, some things that were very easy before, uh, like, for example, in Windows 8, you could just click on Wi-Fi, then right-click and say set as metered connection you can see that that's gone that's not here uh, I can click on advanced options and find that there I would propose though that that is not intuitive additionally it's not clear to me that this network is being affected by this button I think that this would be advanced Wi-Fi options and then when I do click here you notice that there's nothing here about that that network it's down here under properties I don't think that non-technical parent uh, would ever be able to figure that out. Uh, one other thing that remains confusing, version after version, is you'll notice here I'm connected to my home network, my personal network. But you see it says access type internet public network. This is not a public network. This is a private network. But there's no way to change it here and the only way to say that this is a private network is to go on in find devices and content. Not something that's very intuitive or easy to, uh, to discover in my opinion. Let's go back to the start menu. I click on start again I don't like this wasted space but I haven't been able to figure out how to fill it up see how I can't figure that out additionally the start menu I'm getting into lots of situations where like look at that 
this is selected, the Xbox is selected, I would like to select to drag music right now. I can't. I have to tap on it first, then drag it. So the, the fluidity that you would expect, see how I'm just, I just want to move it from here to here. Click and hold, move. They've also added these little things on the side. Even though I click here and click dot dot dot, that's coming up here. That seems to be inconsistent. I don't know why I would want that there. So I find that a little bit annoying. Also, vertical stro scroll I'm finding confusing. Additionally, I have a number of tiles like this one, totally blank. I don't know what that is. It's just blank, so is that one. Also, my uh, Win32 applications and some of my Office apps, these are all blank. I don't know why. Uh, and then icons like the Sublime Text application is ugly, but I know for a fact that they have a lovely icon. Let's take a, take a look and see. You know, these are some... That is a l really nice high-res 256 plus sublime text icon, but this looks like an upscaled 16-point icon. I'm sure that they're working on that, but uh, a little bit unusual, in my opinion. I would like to see a little more, a little more polish. Uh, the other thing that I'm finding a little bit annoying is tablet mode. So let's bring up, uh, let's bring up calendar and I want to make it uh, a regular sized thing and then I'll flick in and say tablet mode this would be as if I had removed my keyboard and then if uh, if you do a button, now notice that the task buttons are gone you have to go and put those back yourself in tablet mode you have to explicitly say in tablet mode I want buttons they expect you to swipe in from the side you see and then tap. So you swipe in from the side and tap. And if you switch around and do some stuff, some applications have trouble painting. That was random. Suddenly weather showed up. Tablet mode. I'm not getting it to happen right now, but basically what you would end up with are kind of non-resizable apps in an unusual state. So there's, you know, lots of painting issues that I'm finding. Live tiles still not updating. Sports just went, looks like it's alternating between blank and a picture. Weather has not updated in a while. Um, now these icons are back. Okay, so that blank icon was Flickster. So just some weird, some weird stuff and no real options. I'd really like to be able to change some options. I went into settings and I searched for start and can't seem to find, that was weird, start. Yeah, see, here's another example. This is just little weird things like this. You type start, I'm clearly clicking on that, and then I'm back here again. Not sure what's going on here. Ah, here we go, let's look at this. Oh, okay, hang on, we think I may have found it on my own. Personalization, customized list, those things are grayed out customize places to link to. So there's a whole list of things here you can turn on and off, but they are disabled for some reason, so that might mean they're coming soon. Use full screen start when in the desktop. Ah. I'm, I wonder why that was not found when searching. So let's see if that changes it. Ah, there you go. There is, so interesting. They've removed the option to resize it. Oh, nope, you can resize it here. But if you've said to be full screen, that's what they did. They removed that, that bit. So if I click again, we used to have a minimize or a restore over there. Again, I would propose, though, at a full screen start, I don't want all this wasted space. I asked for a full screen start, and if you think about it, all you did was give me the exact same number of tiles, just compressed. So kind of a darned if you do, darned if you don't kind of a situation. Here I can go like this, but I interestingly can't add a third column, even though I would like one. So that is the stuff that I have seen in this build. It keeps getting better. I'm still not a huge fan of the, uh, the kind of icon style, and there's a number of spacing issues that have been, uh, been bugging me. Uh, I don't think that these are really nice looking icons. 
and they've started doing this thing where they have a stack of icons. So here, there's a stack of the icons that are in here. Uh, also, these, these pins everywhere, and the very strange looking this PC icon has been a little bit annoying. It just seems like the the icon style has not yet been decided upon. So we're getting there. We're getting there. But uh, certainly not there yet. I'm still getting used to flicking in from the right to do things like this. Like you'll notice that I'm still clicking start and then looking for settings. But now I can just go swipe in and then there's settings right there which is nice. So it's definitely more touch friendly. Uh, having the addition of VPN, by the way, down here along with Wi-Fi. And then this is nice, the brightness happening here. This is very similar to flipping up on an iPad. Connect, though, is an interesting one. Connect is uh, kind of wireless audio, wireless display. This is your Bluetooth. So it's funny that they'd say things like Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, but then they don't really mean that. This turns Bluetooth on and off. Here we go. Look at that. Windows feedback. Did you turn the radio off? Because, probably asking if I wanted to connect to something, because that's kind of what I wanted to do. No, I did not. I wanted to connect to Bluetooth. I want to hit connect, and then that goes looking. And there's my headphones. So, interesting stuff. We're getting there. This is uh, the Insider Preview Fast Ring 10-122. I'll keep doing these videos, and uh, I hope you enjoy them.